I guess I want to give out a short disclaimer because one of my videos from the Lord of Seek Light Challenge got removed and got a warning. But I guess just short disclaimer, any content provided in these tutorials is intended for educational purposes only. Demonstrations of hacking techniques are meant to enhance your understanding of cybersecurity and ethical hacking. And always, I guess, make sure it's, uh, you comply with your local laws and ethical standards when applying these concepts ever in the real world. So anyway, that's just a... Just a quick disclaimer that I have to do before I start with these videos. Sorry. Anyway, let's get started. So with this challenge, we it's called Red Dragon. So it's a Lord of SQL Light Challenge. The ones why we usually do. And it looks like we have some restrictions. The restrictions are that ID can't be more than, uh, I guess, uh, seven bytes or seven, uh, um, seven uh, characters long. So if I do ID equals to like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight. And then we get two long, two strings. So we're limited on what we can put an ID. And then if we see right here that no always has to be numeric. Or I guess no always has to be some kind of numeric value for the most part. And then what we have right here is, uh, let's see right here. Yeah, it's numeric seven. And then we have these uh, filters for it. And if it's not numeric, it's just going to uh, resort to one. So we're asking ourselves, I guess, how are we going to get past the uh, seven byte limit for the most part? So that's pretty easy. Technically, what we're going to do is going to be using the new line technique in which except of uh, doing a uh, except of doing of a uh, except of doing uh, a regular line where it is. I'll just sequel. Test, SQL test, uh, oh, SQL test, I think that's one. So, you know how it's like this? Oh, wait, uh, let me change uh, my SQL. Uh, uh, wait, wait, uh, uh, I don't know which version of this is SQL script. I'll select that at least, my SQL. Uh, okay, this is my SQL. So, you know how we have like this, so we'll accept of making it, I guess, uh, one line like this, because we're assuming we could do this, but our ID, it's limited only to seven characters. So what we want to do is just close it, add a space, do or, or you could do representation of or like that, and then ID, you're going to do greater than, or you could set it equal to and then after that we could just since it's this is like around seven or six characters you could say we could just like write up like comment this out but then in the no value where which we could input values we could just do a new line and have it equal to whatever value we wanted to that's basically the point of this challenge so and right here what i have and i guess and also i guess quick mention is that we're supposed to uh find the exact value of no and if you guys don't know that it has to be a numeric value so we're only dealing with uh, numbers this time so we're only so we know that we only have to brute force a very large number for the most part that that helps us a lot with this challenge so what we're gonna do is uh like i said we're gonna have a i'm just gonna make this bigger no i can't it's not gonna help oh, make it like this so we're, we're going to add a quotation mark and then we're just going to set the representation as or like that. And then we're going to do uh, probably like ID. ID. Oh, no, wait, no. No. And then we'll just put a representation of the greater than sign. You'll see why. And after that, we'll just add our little hashtag symbol. And then after that, we'll do and and then we'll do no is equal to percentage zero. On, uh, yeah, is it yeah percentage percentage zero nine and then we'll start off with zero. Okay. Now if we enter this, we get hello admin and you're gonna see why. If you guys don't remember percentage zero nine URL decode. What is zero in URL encoding? is a line feed and what's a line feed that's basically a new line so what this is so what this query is doing for the most part is uh you just do something like that mm, i don't like this how this is uh 
Uh, I think like that's fine. Okay, so we select ID from probably dragging where ID is equal to the, and it's gonna make um, it's gonna close this out, right? And we have no. Then we have this uh, greater than sign. What this greater than sign is gonna do is first, where it's gonna comment all of this out, right? But right here in this little space, except of it being a space, it's actually a new line. So what it's gonna do, you can do something like this. And now you see that there's no parameters like our previous challenges. No gets run as part of this for the most part. Because this is just commented out right here. But this still gets run right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to try figuring out if the value of no. So no is the is the number that we're trying to get no. But we want to know where it starts at. And, we, and so this is technically saying it's selecting an ID wherever no is greater than zero. And in this case, no our the, our no value is greater than zero so that's why it comes out as hello admin and i'm guessing we're trying to figure it out i guess the admin's uh, no value because it seems like it, that's the only thing that exists since it since there's a value in no that's greater than zero so if we change this to one oh if we change this to like i said again one it's still hello admin. So you guys, you're, if, if it's coming to you, it's basically we're trying to brute force our way through it like that. Two, and then three, and then four. That's basically what we're gonna do. But there is a way to make this process speed up for the most part. So we know that at no, there's we know that our our no value is is big so we want to figure out what's the biggest starting value that we could start at so we could just do at 10 so we know that if let's see if our, our no value is bigger than 10 it is so let's see if our no value is bigger than 100 to reduce the i guess except we because we if we start at zero it's going to be a we have to go through every number from zero to the exact number we're trying to reach so we're going to keep on doing this process so that's what we're doing 100 it's bigger than 100 now we're going to go a thousand it's bigger than a thousand, our no value. So now we're getting somewhere. Now 10,000, I guess. It's bigger than 10,000. Now 100,000? 100,000, bigger than 100,000, our no value. Now, I think this is a million, I'm guessing. A million, still bigger than a million. So what, 10 million? Still bigger than 10 million? I think I'm, I might've got it, 10 million? No, a hundred million. It's bigger than a hundred million. Now I guess one billion. It's not bigger than a billion. So we know that our no value. This is the this is the maximum value it can't be. So it's something smaller than this this specific number. And now we know the starting value that the and then the last known smallest value is uh a hundred million i think i think i think yes if you just grab this and just open up notes and i just do the notepad and then we just copy it right here and then we just add like the this is the that this is the known smallest value the known biggest smallest value which is like i said a hundred million oh yeah a hundred million so this is our starting value this is where we we could start except of starting this this is this is our a better starting value because we know that it's bigger than all the other number from zero all the way to this so this gives us this gives a bunch of numbers now we know the end value the end value is basically this uh with one more zero so we know that it's not bigger than a billion uh yeah i might have added uh way too many zeros oh, wait uh one two okay and then three this should only be one the i think that's correct so it's two confused oh wait wait, wait. i'm confused right now okay yeah because it's one, two, yeah, okay. Because this is the code, and this, okay, yeah, yeah. So this is our start and end value. So these are the numbers we could brute force our way through. We could start from right here and go from right here. So we could iteratively do it from our starting starting value from a hundred million all the way until it reaches a value that we know that it will generate an error that will probably get pick up the first value that it generates the error where 
Hello Admin doesn't appear. I guess for the most part, cause it, yeah. But we could do this even quicker. We could do this using a uh, binary search. So you guys don't know what binary search. It basically binary search versus linear search. Cause what what I was thinking of doing was a a, a linear search going through each one of them one by one, which will take like a a huge amount of time if we put more input but what you see with binary search it's a lot quicker if you see it right here it almost cuts the time in half and that's what we were doing in the previous problem i guess that was a challenge i had you guys do to try figuring out how to do a binary binary search and that's what i'm i guess i'm going to show you guys quickly with this code right here so this code is implementing binary search so we're starting at this specific value like i said the start value and the end value and what it does it basically adds up these two values, while star is less than n, they're just true. They add them up and then divide it by two. So we get the midpoint and we check out the mid value. So we go check out the mid value. If the mid value returns hello admin, that means that the binary, that the mid value is, uh, is uh, the mid value, the, va the value in the middle is smaller than the than our initial value that we want the no value so that means that in our case in our case let's say it's one two three four five so in this case comparing it to right here oh let's do it like this All right, then. So we know that so if hello admin appears in the response text, that means our, um, so let's say our our value is four, the value we want to find. This is an example. Our, the value we want to find is uh, four. Yeah, this four. Yeah. So the value that we want to find, the value to find is four. And then uh, you say it adds it and then divides it by two. So we, this is basically getting the mid value. So the mid value in our case is going to be three. And then if hello admin appears on the text, that means that three is smaller than the four, which is true, which is the number that we're trying to find. Since that, since that's the case, it's just going to uh, do a mid plus one. So uh, let's make this a little bit bigger too. So five, six and seven all right then so yeah, yeah. Well, let's make the value to find a four five uh four five seven let's make this even bigger let's make the value hello hello oh my mic went out yeah, I'm just trying to make, trying to, I guess, make this more visually nice. So, oh yeah, like I was saying, let's just say at the value of 2 find a 7 now. Yeah, I just changed it up. My bad. So anyway, like I was saying, the mid value gets the mid value. Our mid value is 5. And then since 5 is less than 7, and if this, in our case, if any time hello admin appears, that means the value that, the no value that we're looking for, the value we're trying to find is uh it, since hello admin comes out that means the value the mid value is smaller so what we're gonna do is shift the starting value to mid plus one so mid plus one in our case is gonna be six and in our code is gonna be a different number so in that case the starting value is now six we know that our end value which is probably gonna be nine in this case so what happens it eliminates this half reducing our uh, what we had to search in half so now we're left to six and nine, and that basically cuts half of our, half of our, half of our thing, and then it keeps on repeating this process. And now we get the values between six and nine. What's that? Fifteen. Was that like a, what? Fourteen divided by seven divided by two is seven. So now the next value, if now it's gonna look for the value that we want. So if sequel i mid, since we know that seven is not a uh, it's not, I guess, in our case, greater than the value that we're looking for since they're the same thing. It, that's when it breaks for the most part, and that's when we find the value. That's basically what's going on for the most part. It's 
very simple math. It's kind of easy to understand if you've been doing computer science for a while. And we can see this happening with our code. So Python 3, uh, I'll just run it, red dragon.py, and then we just wait for this to happen. So you see right here, the start, the start is the value in the middle, and this is the end. So I'm guessing the, the start value was smaller. And then it shifted, and oh no, I guess the end value was smaller in that case. And then the end value shifted down, the end value shifted down, the start value went up. And you see, like, it keeps the, the start value keeps shifting because if you look at the beginning, the start value was at this specific number, which was when you split it in half. Boy, if you look at, at the end, the start value becomes a very huge number compared to what it was before. Then now we get this value. So imagine us brute forcing our waiting for this value, which is what, if you grab this. Imagine brute, us brute forcing around 500, 500, uh, 500, like, uh, 500 uh, numbers, 500 million numbers, which is insane. <laughs> so if we just try this, for the most part, uh, if we go to, I guess, Red Dragon, and we enter the no value, so no is equal to this. Oh, it doesn't solve it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I forgot to ask. Sometimes with binary search, there might be, you might be off by a byte or so, or off by one number. Uh, mainly the case of this whole, uh, uh, the reason being is probably because of the logic behind the uh, red dragon dot pi. The, the probably be behind this for the most part because uh, I guess the middle is hard to find for the most part. So what you could probably do is just add a one value and then, or maybe go down one. Is it no? Oh, yeah, no, no. oh no, wait, did I? Yeah, it's red dragon. Yeah. Uh, no is equal to yeah. five. Oh wait, because I put the commas. That's why. I was like, what the hell? Okay, now we got a red dragon clear. So yeah, yeah, that was about it for this challenge. Just I guess understanding uh the whole uh, binary search for the most or yeah binary search searching for the number using binary. Because if we were to brute force, it, brute force this, it will take a while. I guess understanding, I guess using a key concept that we use, which was uh, uh, the new line to make a, a, a new line onto our uh, onto our, our code. And then just like, a, yeah, a new line to like a, to bypass the whole, the whole thing, to bypass this comment that, that we do in percentage 23. And yeah, that was about it for this challenge. Anyway, peace.